What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random, and today, I believe it is day number eight, if I got my facts straight. I'm not so sure. Okay, I gotta let you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but day number eight, or possibly nine, and um, I got a pimple underneath my armpit, okay? And like, I'm just, it hurts. It hurts, and it's like, it's like this bit. I don't know if y'all... That entire thing, that's a pimple underneath the skin. So uh, I'm gonna put a hot towel on it and my husband is gonna perform surgery. Now, if y'all wanna see that, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I was thinking about it. I was like, if y'all wanna see that, let me know. But also this is like, this is like I'm recording from the past to the future. So I was like, do I really wanna record my husband picking that under my arms and whatnot? Ooh, wait a minute, my deodorant? Okay, let me show you the deodorant that I have. I have this deodorant right here. And I think that this deodorant is too old or something. Because here's the thing, I never really had to use deodorant. During certain times of the month, I didn't have a scent. So um, I kind of know when my uh, lady time is coming based off of my own body scent. So when I'm closer to my lady time, I have a stronger natural smell, okay? Like it'll start to get a little bit on the must. But if you, like for me at least, if I wash, I don't really have a scent to me which is great because I know some people, they have to stay slathering that deodorant on. Now, although I don't have to, I tend to go ahead and steal my husband's deodorant and I just go ahead and swipe, swipe and I'm good, you know what I'm saying? But um, I don't necessarily have to until it's around that time of my lady time. Now I am rambling on and on, but what we really need to do is pause so y'all can go ahead and see this intro. I made it myself. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay, and we are back. How are you guys doing? I, I was rambling earlier and I never asked you guys, how are you doing? How is your day today? How is the pimple under your armpit? No, you don't have one? It's just me? Yeah, it's irritating. It hurts, okay? Let me go ahead and get a towel. So, what I plan on doing it after I wash my face is putting a hot compress on it and seeing if it explodes and gives me some comfort because right now, baby, you 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 are an unwanted guest right now. So, um, how are you guys doing? I already said that, but what I'm thinking about right now is my childhood. Let's, you know, every time we talk. I talk a little bit about my childhood. I talk a little bit about my present. I talk about everything, you know what I'm saying? You feel me, you feel me. And the thing I wanna talk about today is something that I just came across, just randomly. And it said that stress and depression um, will make you forget things. And I was like, wait a minute, what? Because I don't remember a lot from my childhood. It comes back to me sometimes in like dreams. It comes back to me sometimes in like memories. Or then I'll see someone say something like, oh yeah, this and this and this used to happen to me. And I'm just like, that used to happen to me. <laughs> and, and I never realized it bothered me, but like I can see how it bothers me. You know what I'm saying? You learn through other people's experiences sometimes. And I guess, Part of my message on this YouTube channel, now that we're rambling, stay with me. Part of my message on this YouTube channel is actually to share my story so that people can learn about themselves through me sharing my story, I guess. And just also, um, maybe just have someone listen to me and um, validate my existence because my family sure does not. <laughs> so anyway, washing my face, wash, wash, wash. Um, I can't really see y'all right now, but I got a little breakout, a little pinpoint breakout right here going on. I think it might be some like hairs growing right now. And then all over the past that point, um, just my usual break, like not even breakouts, my usual bumps, they're going down from like the hair. This is a new thing right here, but like just touching my face. 
uh forehead is pretty smooth no new bumps that i can feel um face is pretty smooth it's a little bit still a little rough right here but you know it's getting better okay my skin is getting better um one of the things that stood out to me is that Trisha Paytas is starting to say that this product is for people with, you know, messed up oily skin and stuff like that. And it's like, Queen, you said it was for everybody at first. Okay, pause. Because, you know, my skin ain't been really messed up, but I wanted to use the product, you feel me? And I don't notice any, like, bad things happening from using the product. I did like how soft it made my skin, and I like the process. I think I definitely would continue, um, after I use up all these products, I definitely would try to find something to continue to wash my face with, to continue the pattern going. Because, honestly, I like this little time, me and you, we just talking, well, I'm just talking, y'all just listening. And, um... It's fun because I get to explore a lot of different things that I want to speak about, right? And in some cases, I'll bring something up in this and then I'll turn it into a whole video later down the line. I don't know. It just depends on if anyone wants me to go into more details about my thoughts and actions and this and this and that, right? So let me go ahead and wash this on off my face. I feel like I've been waiting for the two minutes. We're supposed to wait two minutes with this stuff on your face at first. When I first started doing this, I was like, no worry, Jose. I don't have the time, the patience, the want, or the desire. But now I got the desire, because what else am I going to do, you know? Um, yesterday I went to the gym. Am I planning on going to the gym today? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be going to the gym today. I finally answered the phone for Stuart last night. Y'all know I was like, come on, stop calling me. You know, I answered and he was just like, oh, I was worried you weren't answering the calls. And I was just like, well, I know that. You know, you called me four times in a row, sir. So that was something. I guess he could have thought that my phone went dead and I was about to miss work. But, you know, calling me four times in a row isn't going to wake me up any more than calling me twice in a row is going to wake me up if my phone was dead. So my stomach is hurting like i'm just in the midst of my stomach hurting right now i like i don't i don't feel good you guys i haven't been feeling good i woke up out of my sleep and i was just like eh. i feel like uh and uh may stewart come hold me while <laughs> me I made Stuart come hold me while I was on the toilet the other night, and I just felt like sick. I mean, I ate a lot of beef and pork mixture because we went out to eat again. You know, we went out to eat two days in a row, even though we weren't supposed to eat out at all. But you know what? Stuart chose the first day, and I chose the second day, okay? And since then, we haven't eaten out. So maybe we'll make it. Maybe just twice a month, we eat out, and then we just chill, you know? I think that'd be fine. You know, we both get to choose a place that we want to eat and we eat there together. Um, it's definitely better than every single day eating out, which we, that's what we were doing before. We eating every single day. Like, we were some hungry, hungry hippos. <sighs> I was more so the hippo. Stuart is just the scarecrow. Hungry, hungry scarecrow. But you know what? I am done with my face right now and I'm very thankful that you guys hung with me as I washed my face got to know me a little bit and um I hope to see you guys later I'm just gonna go ahead my stomach really is hurting right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and you know when your stomach hurting you just sit in the bathroom and you rethink all of your life decisions that's what I'm about to go do so much love and positive vibes. Can you send some positive vibes my way? Cause oh, and I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe. My mouth got kind of wet. Whatever you want to do, as long as you're doing it with me.